My name is Gaia Athena and today I'm bringing you a book review of The Kicking the Bucket List by Kathy Hopkins. I body read this book together with Emily from Novel Novels. Please go follow her if you aren't already because she is a really nice person and I love her videos. This was my first YouTube buddy read. I have read books together before with a couple of people but that was not related to booktube and the way that I did that with these people is just we both just start reading the book and we just see how far we are. We don't plan out pages or chapters or something which I think is something that is done on booktube as far as I've understood it. Anyway, so we read this book over the course of a week. This book is about three sisters who, after their mother passes away, it turns out that their mother, rather than just giving the, them the inheritance, they need to complete the kick in the bucket list, which means that the mother wants them to spend some weekends together and the mother has planned out some things that the, the sisters have to do this weekend. The sisters have gotten a bit estranged over the years and so it's like the mother's wish that they like reconnect and yeah. Here is the synopsis, I hope that's focused. Going into this I thought it would be kind of like a chick lit rom-com type book but it actually turned out to be a bit more like weepy and sad than I was expecting. I really like the writing style, the book reads very easily. After reading some more complicated books recently I felt it, it was really nice to just read a more easier to read book that's not hard to get through and so I really like that. Most of the book is told from these perspectives. She is the middle sister and from time to time we do see little bits from the perspectives of the other two sisters, they're Rose and Fleur, but most of the book is told from Dee's perspective and I kind of wish we had seen more of the other sisters as well because I think that would have been interesting. It was an emotional read. I do feel like just before the end there was still a lot of sort of stuff to wrap up and I felt maybe we could have taken a little bit more time to do that. But yeah, overall uh, I like this book. It was a nice read. I, uh, I actually I picked this book up uh, for cheap a few years ago. I have read um, some books by this author for uh, young teens, uh, translated into Dutch. When I was a teenager I read those. So yeah, when I came across this book I thought, hey, I know this author and it sounded like a nice read. It was a nice read. It's not like a new favourite or anything, but it was, it was emotional. And it was really nice to see the bond of the sisters sort of grow throughout the book. Yeah, it was a nice read. I liked it. And it was really nice to have experienced a buddy read with Emily and I really, I really liked that she and I could talk about this book, all the spoilers and everything and that was really nice so thank you Emily for bloody reading this with me and yeah so I enjoyed reading this book. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!